journey builder uh, first we'll go at the very basic level and slowly as we progress with different sessions uh, what we'll do is we'll start uh, going very deep like we did for amplitude enablement okay uh, we'll go very deep so first we'll start like let's see how people are understanding if i'm able to convey what i'm trying to explain and uh, i'll try to go little slow and uh, bear with each other let's make it interactive okay typo ho gaya pe cloud ke andar i'll modify that in journey builder we have different activities but before going to explaining different things first i'll ask everyone ki what is a journey builder let's start with uh, sumit Sumit, what do you think? Uh, what is a journey builder, and why we should use journey builder in marketing cloud? Uh, so, journey builder is a kind of uh, an a app within an app, which you can use to design the complete uh, journey for uh, for your subscribers. For example, a welcome journey, like an onboarding journey. So, you can simply design the path you can take those subscriber through so i mean in short this this would be my answer kiran yes yes so what exactly journey builder is a canvas where uh, we can have a cross platform messaging or touch points we can uh, touch the particular customer either through message or to emails at a particular point of time so that uh, we can have a particular goal to be achieved so either it can be uh, Uh, onboarding mm-hmm. kind of thing or uh, abandoned cart kind of thing so we can achieve uh, through the journey builder that's a good one uh, deepak yes sir see so to keep it short i would say we use journey builder for uh, multi channel marketing and that can be used you know uh, for a two way communication as well even the customer a uh, touch point is been uh, you know calculated and analyzed accordingly inside the journey builder and we communicate according to their touch points uh, uh, for personalization as well so journey builder is a really important tool inside the salesforce marketing cloud and that everyone should uh, get through it to you know achieve uh, salesforce marketing cloud that's another good one uh, who else ankita uh, yes sir she i think journey builder is like uh, if we want to make a um, journey for our end clients and we want to like uh, have a campaign uh, like multi channel multi channel marketing campaign which we want to plan based on what customer react what he behave in uh, like with the with our communication if we want to monitor and design according to their reaction then we should use the journey builder another good one okay i am liking it uh lakshmi lakshmi am i audible yeah you are audible okay according to me journey builder is a process of automating a series of actions or sending communications via different channels that's what i know mm mm-hmm. good 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 i like it you don't no you don't have to be scared right? you can say whatever comes in your mind whatever feel okay so i'll go to Amber, I'm just trying to recollect the names. Yeah. Yeah, sure. See, so uh, journey builder is a uh, journey builder is a designer inside a SFM tool, which allow us to customize an interaction uh, for, for the customers. Trying to make it interactive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, not based on somebody judging you. It's more of a, mm-hmm. I'm judging you. Yeah. I'm judging you to how should I explain? Anybody else want to volunteer? If I have to collect. Okay. Nidhi. Hi. Hi. Sure. Sure. so a uh, journey builder is basically a, a canvas where depending on what is your customer's response uh, what is the message you want to drive across and third where they are in the life cycle stage you design what should be your engagement touch points and basis the outcome uh, a generic outcome you also sort of bucket your customers in the subsequent journeys beautiful beautiful okay the la- less uh, i i am trying to recall i know okay uh, anybody last uh, i'll give you somebody a last response who want to say something about the enable to what is the enable can i raise a anybody one any anybody else who has not spoken can volunteer of saying what do you understand by journey build it is also one of the marketing tool in smc mm-hmm. it can build multiple uh, campaign automatic campaigns to interact with customers across multiple channels it was asis i guess right no sai dinesh oh sai dinesh sorry 
Uh, I'm looking at my window screen that is Zoom. So, okay, good one. Journey Builder is one kind of automated campaigning uh, which enables one to one automated communications with the subscriber. And already the marketing means uh, there is a predefined. Uh, the series of the series of marketing communications which are already predefined it's like we, we already decided what type of communication we are going to send based on the actions or based on the based on their action and uh, we have already mm -hmm. defined the uh, we have already defined the marketing communication on our content builder and then mm -hmm. we have to then we then we use this uh, to send uh, to the uh, means, uh, then we have to use that uh, uh, marketing comments uh, like emails to send out mm -hmm. from the journal builder. Whatever we nice one, decide. yeah, nice one, nice one, yeah. Uh, who was this? Asis. Uh, give your name, please. Asis. Asis. So Asis, you defined it very beautifully. Thank okay. So this is the one which I was expecting. Actually, everybody what they said uh, 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 is very good, right? But the one what you say is actually uh, most resonates with what I think. Hmm. So journey builder, it means like uh, I consider is as a train. So uh, what happens is uh, we are in a platform uh, waiting for a train to come in and we want to reach certain destination. Uh, and let's say uh, I'm waiting in a Delhi station, Delhi uh, for a train. I want to come to say, New Jalpaiguri, and okay. uh, I'm there. And then once I enter the train, now I can go at different places, uh, have different things. Like say, if the station, uh, what they say, I think uh, there was an advertisement, right, uh, uh, saying that uh, you go to Agra and get that. Uh, uh, what was that? There was some kind of snacks. Exactly. So you go there. The favorite thing that is there in the station, you have it, then you uh, travel. Right? Similarly, uh, what happens is journey is designed in such a way that it has some objective. It's not like just sending an email. It's not just like uh, uh, you want to uh, send uh, this a lot of people. You, you right? A lot of people say that multi-channel that you can have cross-channel and all. Okay, that is true. But basically, you need to have some objective to build a journey what you want to achieve hmm. so that's why here they here in in official documentation so what they say journey builder is a marketing cloud campaign planning and execution tool you have some campaigns in mind and then you execute it so what they're saying is uh, let's start a journey and then let's say first we'll start with a welcome email saying that welcome uh, for the certain campaign let's say campaign one and then after some time, they will wait. There will be a wait activity. They will wait like in a station, they are waiting. And then after a certain time passes, then it sends another email saying that uh, we have launched or this particular product and uh, product has been launched. And these are the information regarding this product. Now, it's not only about sending a communication. Like uh, I think Nidhi said, there is the responses and how you interact uh, with the subscribers right so i have sent a second email saying uh, let me show this design what i'm saying okay i think i've created the automation so uh this is let's say this is session one journey where i say let's have a data extension i'll explain everything later so let's go to the messaging and i say this uh, so this is email one so I'll say, let's say this is a uh, first, we'll say the welcome email, just welcoming them. Then I'll wait for one day. And then I uh, say, I'll send on the email saying product information will go deep. Maybe if you'll go deep, uh, that's, the, uh, that's my habit. So product info. Uh, I'll again wait, let's say not for one day, maybe for them to have something where inside the email maybe i'll have some interactions like say i have a cta button saying that uh, click here to know more about this information whether it goes to a website or whether it's go to the cloud page is up to the design and uh, once they go to the product so let's say rather than one day i give them one week of extensions so they can think about it 
and then i'll send another email to capture the feedback so i'll say a feedback form what i'll do is i'll send that like product one so this is let's say a product info so for that product i'm trying to capture the feedback so after one week i'm going to send an email to the customer and there again i'll have a cta button that will redirect me to the cloud page and i'll ask them whether you like their product and if you have any feedback you can give a feedback and i'll capture it and so on so what is happening like i'll consider this everything as a train right and inside the train the, the touch points are like for the uh, stations different stations and uh, based on either you know you can uh, let's say some emergency occurred or something happened and uh, let's say i was going to njp from delhi and when i reached let's say jamshedpur and when it halted in jamshedpur i suddenly realized i have someone there i need to meet rather than going to uh, njp so i might board the train and exit so there is an uh, exit criteria we'll go there an exit criteria where suddenly uh, if that person doesn't the subscriber or the customer does not want to stay in the journey they can exit it can be either through you know opt out mechanism or uh, we'll go there into details uh hope i'm making sense what i'm saying yes did i make certain sense to you all yes 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 so now uh journey builder when people were saying multi channel right so what happens is uh this is a communicating platform where we are trying to communicate with a customer right for a certain campaign so for me it was like a, i gave an example of product information so i am launching a product i want to basically in, inform the customer about the product now uh, it depends on the preferences like uh, in campaign enablement uh, before there in between i think we were discussing at one certain place about preferences right so if a customer uh, says that i don't want to receive sms but i prefer to receive uh, sorry the other way around they don't want to receive email but want to receive sms so what i can do once it enters i can have a decision split to find out what the person's preference is so this path path 1 and the reminder so rather than making it we can basically modify this and i say instead of path 1 uh, so modify can any okay okay email ha huh? so this is the email path and so the reminder i'll say the sms part uh, based on the so here it is not showing to complete this because i have to configure everything but this can be done so path 1 is for email and reminder is for sms so what i can do uh, let me add sms here hmm. so similar way i can have this welcome sms uh, let's make it this welcome sms one day i'll wait for oh sorry sms hmm. then product information same information and this was one week i'm making the similar so nobody gets confused here one week and then we have the feedback same mechanism so it year and we have sms so it's say feedback okay let me make it quick hope you people are understanding what i'm saying right i can add another path to it here i can add another path and i consider this to be say push notification then i can consider another path uh, so the number of parts you can define based on the preferences as well does this make sense yes sir yes sir yes, yes.